everybody. Thanks for joining me here today. This is Nicole with Topaz. Today we are here for our quick tip session on how to batch process with Photoshop and Denoise. If you're an event, wedding, lifestyle photographer, perhaps like me, you travel and take a lot of images at the same high ISO settings, then you have the ability to go in and batch process that group of images that have those same settings and it'll save you a lot of valuable time when you do that. So today we're going to go over that process using Photoshop Actions, going into the batch automation, and then using a denoise action to apply that noise reduction to this group of images. Apply that noise. I have been following the webinar series on denoise. You might be familiar with this image already. This is an image that I took in Spain in a winery called Viña Tordaña. And in that uh, winery, it was so dark. So let me just open up some of these other images so you can tell how dark it was. So this is a good indication right here. Oop. Let's go back to this one. The lighting in here was terrible. So as I took the first couple shots, my I had to have a handheld um, camera. I didn't have the ability to bring in a tripod and there was no flash photography. So I thought, you know what, let me just check with my settings and, and, and work with them. And I had to go all the way up to ISO 25,600 during this portion of the tour to be able to capture anything. But I knew that I could apply denoise and I would be able to manage it. As long as, um, let me go back here, all of these images are all the same setting. So let's take a look at that file info real quick. Here we have ISO 25600 and F4. I'm going to cancel out, go to the next one just so you can see, and I can show you that these are all the same. I won't do this for all of them, but you can see that most of these were taken at the same setting. If you have noise in your image and you take your images at the same f-stop and ISO, you can apply the same noise reduction preset that you get with one image to the rest of the images because it's your sensor noise. And sensor noise is going to be very, very similar if you're using the same type of settings in the same type of light. So you don't have to work on every single image individually. You can go through this action and batch process. Let me go ahead and close these on up and start with this image of the bottles because I've already created a preset within Denoise and that's what we're going to use. But the first thing that you have to do is record an action. If you're not familiar with actions, please um, take a look at some of the old uh, tutorials that we have on our YouTube that go over actions, but I'm just going to go through the process really quickly and open up my actions tab. If you don't see your actions tab, you can just go over to the window and click on it and it will show up over here on the right. And I'm going to create a new preset. I'm going to do that by clicking on the icon here or a new action. So create new action. I'm going to call it Vina Tordaña 2. And I'm just going to leave all of the rest of that alone and I'm going to say record. Now anything that I do after this point is being recorded in this action, which once I stop the action, I can then apply that, uh, all those steps to another image when playing the action in that image. So let's go ahead and go into Denoise. The first thing I'm going to do is make a copy of my image by pressing Control or Command J and I'm going to label this Denoise Layer. And after that, I will go over to my filters list, Topaz Labs, Topaz Denoise 5, open that up, and work with Denoise on this first image. If there's already a preset created, which there is for this image, you can just come over here and click the preset, but you can also come over here and work with the image, uh, image sliders and get the best setting for this um, particular group of images. Create a preset at that point, if you don't already have one, by coming over here to your preset options and going to save. When you press save, you can, let me go ahead and cancel this, and first go to the Vino Todanya preset here, and now I'll just save this as an additional preset and go through this process. Preset name, we'll say Vino Todanya 2. And I'm gonna say absolute. Absolute means that it's going to apply the exact same noise reduction on all of my images. When relative to noise estimate is chosen, that means it's going to analyze each image and it's going to maybe apply a little bit stronger if it thinks it has stronger noise, maybe apply a little bit um, 
weaker, if you think to have weaker noise. So if you have slightly different settings, you can keep relative to noise estimate on. But if you're at the exact same settings the whole time, go to absolute. I find it a little bit more useful for me. So I can just go through this process created by Nicole, camera. I like to put in all of the information that I need to here. Mark two. ISO was 25,600. I have to go to other and please specify. So I'll just type that in. And I'll leave the rest alone. Press OK. My preset is over here. I'm going to click on it just to really make sure that uh, in the action it records this particular uh, preset. And I'm going to press OK. Now what I have is my background layer with my denoise layer and I want to save this image. So I'm going to just go to save as and save as a PSD. And that is also going to be recorded in my action. After we save, I'm going to stop the action and then go through and show you how to apply that action to a whole batch of images. Now one of the reasons that I highly recommend batch processing for denoising a batch of images is because of the slower speed of denoise. It is a very high intense processing program and speed is one of the drawbacks. So if you just have a tiny bit of noise, denoise is not necessarily the go-to program for uh, just a small amount of noise. Usually that can be handled within your raw processor and you can be done with it. But if you're dealing with images like I am here, denoise is essential to being able to create um, an image that I want to end up with. And the unfortunate part is that it takes a lot of time. So this is something you can set up at night before you go to bed and just or if you're walking away from your desk for an hour, you can set this to start batch processing. It's just going to keep working for you while you step away. So now I'm just going to go to File, Save As, and I'll save it as a P PSD, same file name, and press Save, and press OK. And now I'm going to come over here to my Action panel and press the Stop button. And now I have this Vigno Tadania 2 action that we just created and it's now stopped, and now I'm gonna X out of this image and go over here to my file. File, we're gonna come down to Automate, Batch, and this is where your batch processing options are available for you. So it's gonna tell you, it's gonna ask you what actions you wanna play. I wanna play this Vigna Tudanya 2 action. It's within my default actions uh, folder. And then it's going to ask you for a source. So here you want to pull in the folder or um, images that you want to apply this to. So I'm going to just choose a folder that I've created for this session called Vigna Tadanya. It's on my desktop, so there it is. And I'm going to press OK. And then I'm going to take a look at some of my options. I don't want to override open commands because um, that would mean that nothing would ever open because I didn't have an open command within my action. I'm okay here with all of these options. I do want to stop for errors just in case anything goes wrong. And now I come over here and pick my destination. I also want my destination to be a folder, but I could just say save and close. But I want to put it into a different folder altogether. And that folder for me is going to be denoise. It's within the Vigno Tarania uh, folder that I created. So I'm just going to click on that and press OK. And you'll see that is applied here, that path. And I do want to override my save as commands. And what that's going to do, instead of applying um, the save, instead of within the action, what it did was save in the same folder that I had opened the image in, this is going to override that save source space or destination folder and replace it with this destination folder. So I do want to do that. When they click on that, you'll have a little warning pop up. You can press OK, and it just tells you exactly what I just did. And for me, what I usually do is you start with my document name, so my image number, and it kind of tells you an example right here of what it will look like. I usually do four-digit serial numbers. So you can see that here. And then end with an extension. You have to end with some sort of extension um, within this saving format, and it's just going to either save it as a PSD or the original format if you didn't have a layered file. I want my starting serial number, I'll go ahead and make that five, and I want it to be compatible with all file types, so I'm going to press OK, and it's going to start opening up 
those images within the folder that I selected as my source and going through that action that we selected, which was the Vigna Tadanya 2, applying the denoise and then processing that denoise back into Photoshop, and that's what it's doing right now. And then it's going to save as into the destination folder that I chose. This will save you a ton of time within um, large amounts of images that need the same denoise settings. So I hope this gave you some tips on how to save time and apply all your denoise actions first to your images and then go in and further um, edit. Sorry, I forgot that word for a second. <laughs> further edit your images. Thanks again, everybody. Bye-bye.